Hello! What's up? What's up? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we got the offseason with the Indiana Hoosiers. About to say the Hoosiers. It's not the Hoosiers, but it's the Hoosiers. All right, man. We had a rough season one. We went three and five in conference, though, man. Had a big win versus Michigan State. Blew them out, actually, man. 56 to 17. We beat UCLA. They were a ranked team as well. Had a great game versus Minnesota. Probably the toughest game that we actually walked away with the victory. Your Heisman Trophy winner is Matt Liner. That will give him two. So he and Griffin are the two to win two. Incredible. How many of y'all thought Tim Tebow would win two? I thought Tim Tebow had a great chance of winning two. But you know it. It is what it is, man. When we look at the conference championship games, Akron falls to Toledo. LSU got beat down by Tennessee. Texas hangs on versus Iowa State. And then Florida State beat Virginia. And then Southern Miss over UTEP. The homie Pitt is an All-American. That's what I'm talking about, man. Best receiver in the Big Ten, if you ask me. And I know Ted Ginn Jr., he was also a, a first-team All-American. But I'm just saying, man, I'm just saying the Big Ten is represented well on this All-American list. Stokes, second-team All-Americans, so you already know they're going to be first-team in the Big Ten. At least that's what I'm thinking. You never know, right? I guess technically we don't know. But there goes Stokes, and there goes the homie Pitts. First team, all Big Ten. I'm happy for my guys, man. I'm excited for what the future can hold. Obviously, we have to replace those guys. But I do think with some creative recruiting, we can do it. We need athletes. We need athletes. Vin Lasso can teach them the game of football. But we need guys that can go out there and flat out ball, flat out do their thing. Nobody else on the Hoosiers is an all, except for Washington. I take that back. Washington is second team all Big Ten in Slaughter. Free safety. He is also. And he is coming back. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did not realize how many players were leaving. I did not realize how many guys were leaving. Now, do apo I do apologize. Please forgive me. I did not look at the guy's stats. So I do apologize. You saw Pitts had 87 receptions. But as far as everybody throughout the country and everybody on our team, I did not check. And that's on me, man. I was just really excited to get to recruiting, see what our new team, see what this team is going to look like moving into a new season in season number two. All right, so here go the bowl results, man. I'm hoping that we can get to the bowl game. And we want to get to some big bowl games. Uh, of course, the Rose Bowl for the Big Ten is probably the biggest. And then the National Championship game, whenever that's not going to be. And the Rose Bowl will be up there as well. But I'm talking about, like, Outback Bowl would be okay. Well, isn't that, isn't it like the Citrus Bowl? Isn't that, you know, like, I think that's Big Ten SEC. I know Outback is also Big Ten SEC, I want to say. So those games, I think those games would be a good look. You know what I'm saying for us moving forward. But, of course, we got to get there. We got to handle business. Um, the Sugar Bowl, you know, Fiesta Bowl, all those big bowls of glimpses we're trying to get to. So, Iowa, they end up beating Texas A&M to be a national chance, man. That's crazy that they played Texas A&M because Texas A&M wasn't in the, in the Big 12 championship game. But, hey, it works out that way sometimes. So, we're going to be losing J.D. Jones, Justin Carter. The Carter Bar brothers, they're both leaving us. Okay, now I was just like, okay, Hines. Okay, I thought Hines was going to be back because now I'm going to lose two middle linebackers because Washington, he's also a senior. Holland, he's gone. Okay, Matthew is gone. Boone is gone. I knew Pitts was okay. It's get, okay, left and Glim, he's gone. Smith, right guard, he's gone. Washington, he's gone. Stokes, he's gone. And then our left tackle. He is gone as well. So even though I have high hopes for the squad, they might be postponed, man, because we got to retool. And we probably have to rebuild a little bit. But getting a guy from Michigan, a Michigan man, a Michigan man big D tackle story. He's going to come to town in a strong safety, Thomas from Syracuse. He's going to come to town as well. So they have to sit out a year. This is old school. It's not the draft protocol you know what i'm saying it's different rules so we missed that on the cornerback but we got uh we got houston during the end season we have another houston 
a big guard, four-star recruit. Jenkins, four-star tackle. So even though he did miss out on some guys, and Jack, he's the big one. I wanted this middle linebacker. He ends up going to the Irish. I wanted him so bad. I could just see him running from sideline to sideline and just making all kinds of tackles for us. But Travis Swoops, we got him instead. Um, not a bad guy at all. Three-star recruit at middle linebacker. Have another Miller. Hopefully this Miller can catch. You also got that athlete in Walker. Um, uh, yeah, Mikey Walker. I think he's going to be an absolute beast. He's short. He's 5'6". Um, I'm thinking he's probably going to be a receiver, kind of in that DeAnthony Thomas, um, Tyreek Hill mode. I know they're bigger than he is. He's 5'6", like 160 pounds. But I think receiver, and if need be, I could put him at our Wildcat option look and put him in the backfield, uh, if, if, again, if need be. Uh, but Walker, depending on what he looks like, I think he's going to translate to a receiver. So we lose pits, we lose swoops. As a, I don't know if you noticed, we did not go out to any running backs. And there were a bunch of running backs. Can't say a bunch, but there were a few running backs that wanted to come. And I'm like, you do have to cut people in this game. And I never like to cut people in this game unless they're juniors or seniors, which sounds weird, I know. But if they're a junior or senior that's like a 60 overall and they're not going to hit the field, then I, I got to cut somebody. I might as well cut them. So I never like to cut people who I feel like can still blossom. So Walker receiver, 72 overall receiver, 68 overall athlete, 99 overall speed and a lot of times we get 99 overall speed in this game and it doesn't quite feel like it i think that he feels like it I, I think that he feels like he's 99 overall speed all right so reese coming back 84 overall now muse 80 okay 80 overall 91 speed true sophomore we have two more years with him at the very least could be three including this upcoming season obviously uh we have some horses in the stables with some good speed, uh, we're just gonna have to see how many, how often we can get these guys on the field. We have a new fullback. He would not be wearing number one. Number one will be designated to a receiver. That's just the way we're gonna do this franchise. Probably gonna go to Walker. He's wearing 84, which isn't a bad number, but you know it's college and even a pro game now. Probably gonna see a lot more receivers wearing number one, like that guy Chase with the Bengals, rookie of the year. I mean, I don't think that there's a debate right now. That guy is absolutely killing it our left tackle situation is going to cause me to, to to kill something my gosh so we're going to go with our right tackle jenkins true freshman he's going to be playing left tackle for us uh center we're going to red shirt one of those guys i'll show you guys who we red shirt in a second so we're we are young up front but i think our o-line is going to be solid i really really do if not this year because they're young next year i really think we're going to be solid um, I would really like to throw from the pocket more, but once I get that initial pressure, I see O'Lama getting pancaked, I, I'm like, okay, we got to start rolling out, hit those corner outs, you know, roll out, get that post coming across the middle, but I'm going to try to do a better job of staying in the pocket, but that's just how I play. I like to roll out, get outside, but as long as we can run the ball, we should be A-OK. -okay. Houston got 95 speed, Penn 96 speed, so our corners can run. And that's what I need to see. Slaughter coming back. 88 overall. Carrington, 62 overall. Our, our strong safety spot is just a tad bit weak. And we probably need to boost, boost that up. But we're not going to do that this in-season recruiting period. We will look for linemen on the defense side of the ball. Outside linebackers and quarterback. Those are the guys that we're looking at right now. Trying to stay within the pipeline. Um... No real particular reason. It's not a rule that I'm saying, oh, I have to do this. No, it's just that's what I chose to do. Um, so Jason Miller, 6'5", 207. He's going to be a good one. We might even put him at tight end at some point. Um, I know 207 isn't big enough for a tight end, but 6'5", absolute monster. He's going to be a receiving threat, obviously. He's going to red shirt this year, but I think the sky's the limit for him. We're also going to red shirt, shirt Stewart. He can't play this year, but that, uh, that sophomore designation will go away. He will be a junior next year if I don't red shirt him. So that's why I red shirt him, even though he has to sit out this season. Just because I'm like, you know what? I have to do it because I want him to still be a sophomore when he hits the field 
for us. So first game will be reverse Kentucky, UAB will be one episode, then Texas Tech, Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois, Minnesota, Ohio State. Then we got Michigan State, Clemson, we finish up with Michigan and Purdue in one episode as well, man. So here go the Heisman hopefuls. Young is an absolute beast, man. Let his team to the uh, championship. And he was like a Heisman finalist last year. And he's coming back for his senior season. And I think his real name was like Tate in real life. Uh, he, he was a dog at Iowa. He really was. USC's number one followed by Texas, Iowa, Georgia, Tennessee, Texas A&M, Florida State, Miami, Auburn, Cal, Purdue, Virginia Tech, Virginia, Penn State, Florida, Maryland, Michigan State, LSU, Ohio State, Alabama, the Crimson Tide, and all Ohio State going to your pro probation. So, yeah, no big bowl game for them. Wisconsin is also a top 25 team. And then we are sitting just outside the top 65. <laughs> so we definitely got some more work to do. But I do think a bowl game is it's bowl game or bust this season. Uh, so we're going to try to get there. Hopefully we can win outside of the conference, something that we uh, had a hard time doing last year until we beat UCLA last game of the season. Uh, but, yeah, so hopefully we can get the job done. But that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. We are ranked number 66. Next video might drop tomorrow. Uh, Kentucky, UAB, the Hoosiers. I want to see what this Walker kid can do with that 99 speed. 5'6", he's short. But, hey, it is what it is. We can get the ball in his hands. Reese, it's your time, baby. Red shirt, senior. You got to lead us, baby. You got to lead us. That's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that the rest of the day is the best of the day. Peace, love. Peace